Yeah, you want to slide off. <laughs> <laughs> so being on video is like old hat for you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to have to pay you sad wages? <laughs> right. uh, okay, any new problems? No. Say, why is, uh, when I was looking at my feet, what, what are these? Why are these so prominent on this foot but not on the other? What is that? These are just normal veins. Oh, I see. And over here where it looks a little purple, those are what we call spider veins. Oh, yeah. And they're just real close to the skin. Oh. So they'll yeah, look kind of purple. I just those white things were, see, you can, you can mm -hmm. hardly see them there, but right. boy. Is, right. Is that an artery or just a, a vein? That's a vein. Oh, it is. Yeah. That, those white things, just a vein? Yep. Yeah, so the veins carry the blood back up to your heart. I didn't want to Okay, so last time you were here, yeah. you, you were submitting a bunch of stuff to the state fair and you made buckwheat honey crackers. Yeah, right, and they did win first place. Yeah, they, they did. Got, yeah, and so then I demonstrated them with Belinda on Channel 11 then, then, yeah, from the fair, yeah. And they were really good, they were healthy because uh, you had to use buckwheat honey and uh, they didn't say they had to be healthy, but I am all about health these days. So I, one time I had made some oat rolled oat crackers, but it had no honey, of course. And uh, so then I thought, hey, I'll make a whole wheat cracker. So I had, I put in two cups of whole wheat, think a little salt and a little baking powder. And then I put in, oh, I cut in butter. And then I put in a half a cup of that um, buckwheat honey. And then I stirred it, but then I took my hand and made a dough. And so then I rolled it out real thin, and then I cut little things, little crackers, round little crackers, and then I pricked them all over. It looked just like the kind that you buy, you know, like those wrists. And I had a little gadget that made them all, uh, a lot of holes at one time. And so, yeah, so they decided they... And so they took first place in that yeah. contest. Wow. And they were good tasting. I did, I did enjoy them. You know, all the samples I had. Yeah, they were good. Yeah. So you're gonna do a new buckwheat honey cookbook? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. The the recipe for it is always, uh, whenever I demonstrate on um, uh, Channel Eleven, they want the recipe. So anybody who wants it, ouch, where the recipe is there, yeah. Oh, a lot of times it's on my website too. Well, if you want to promote your website, normally I don't put people's names or faces in these videos. But if you want to promote that, you can. Because oh. <laughs> you're famous. Yeah. So do you want to let people know? Um, it's up to you. No, I guess I won't. Okay. If it means more to you that you put my name, that's okay. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. Because people watching this are really more interested in what it looks like trimming yeah, your right, toenails. Yeah. And one thing that we haven't really done is thinned out these big toenails. Oh, and yeah. we're going to do that for you oh, yeah. better today than we've been able to do in the past. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, do these hurt when you put them in shoes when they get this thick? Do, 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 do. The, these big toenails? No, no. I know I don't feel my feet at all. I mean, they... You know, feel just normal, you know. Okay. And the reason I had it done because all at once I had these black nails, and uh, um, kids said, oh, that looks just terrible, you know. And uh, yeah, so then I came over, I don't know, that was a couple of years ago or, yep. or whenever I I think it was that. more than that even. Yeah, and it really, they were just black. Both of them were black, yeah. So, um, this is, I don't think we've used this on your nails no, yet. This no. is a, a high-speed 
drill kind of like the dentist uses. Does it hurt? No, oh. you'll feel some vibration. Oh, I see. But it won't hurt. Okay. okay, so we'll be able to smooth everything out. Oh yeah, that's good. And then when it comes to these big toes, we'll be able to thin them way out for you. Oh yeah, because they're big toes. Oh, I do. That was big. Okay, so we're I guess I say we like the royal we. The what? I said I guess I say we kind of like the royal we. <laughs> because we're not smoothing them out. I'm smoothing them out. Yeah, we. Yeah. I remember um, you can't cut. Uh, he had a mural, and he came over once, and you could, you couldn't, you can't cut them with. Wait, so wait, he I went and bought I, one of those. No, things. I didn't start over. I didn't hear that. What? Huh? I didn't hear what you were saying. I said, you know, Lee came over too, and and uh, I don't think he had toes, but his toes somehow they were, and oh. he couldn't cut him with with. Um, a scissor because they're just too strong. So then he said, "Can I buy one of those?" So he bought whatever you use, yeah. So okay. Then yeah. he was able to cut his own channel as well. Good. Yeah. So a lot of people, a lot of people like that kind of nail cutter better. Yeah. That's been four years or four and a half practices. I think it was June twelfth. 2013, yeah, I'm going to end up November, yeah. July, August, September, October, yeah. I guess in January, then I'll be doing that too as well. How is your daughter? She's doing great. What is she? She's still in school or she graduated? Yeah, no, she's in her second year at the, at uh, college. Oh, uh -huh. and what does she plan to do when she graduates? Um, probably grad school. Oh, uh huh. That's always good. Yeah. Yeah, she's in um, she's in the sciences. Sciences. Uh -huh. And with a degree in environmental studies, there's not a whole lot you can do. I bet she hates what Trump is doing. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. That country's not going to be as good. Oh, Lordy, I hope they get rid of him. <laughs> I have to stay somewhat apolitical if I'm going on YouTube. <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I don't dare want. say it. Um, you know, I, I um, go to the website and there's a lot. And I listen to them all. They want you to donate money, but I don't because ooh, I'm sorry. Because yep. um, one thing is, um, I gave some money to uh, cancer or something. Then you get on this list. Not only do I get letters from cancer all the time on more, but everybody and their brother. So I thought, and also I, uh, you have to do it by. Um, Credit card. I have never used my credit card on the internet, and I'm not gonna. When I uh, like uh, do a subscription to my magazine or anything, I run a check. I like it because then uh, I can just see you with checks. If you do it on your card, oh my God, you have to go through so many times. You don't know what month it is, and then it takes a while for them to get it and stuff. So I like everything I and every donation I run a check. Yeah, I don't. Then I can tell exactly, and then when it comes. The income tax time, I can give it to the guy, told him how much I have donated. Boy, those, sometimes I just give $10, but my dollar was up to almost $300 the other day. I just started to, you know, to find a man, it turns out, if you give $100. And I gave to some kids Easter seals, I think that was for disability people, and, mm -hmm. and then there was Children's Hospital or something, you know. But in the meantime, I got, oh, now we have to learn to pick and choose. Yeah. And also because I am a celebrity, I, uh, like they say, do you want to put it, put it on Facebook? I, I know 
I don't because you got to stay apolitical. Yeah, uh, you can tell your friends how you feel, but you can't, you know, broadcast it because all the other people who didn't like it. I mean, you can't. There are some that like them, and I guess thirty-two percent like them. So <laughs> you're cracking me up. <laughs> But I'm not one of the 32 percent. Uh, I think kids say no. You can't tell other people how you feel about Trump. You because <laughs> oh. I think once when I was one, uh, 107, it was a fate fair, and they said something, and I, and I said something. Oh my gosh! You know? On the radio? Yeah. This is like a couple. Well, whatever. Like I suppose 2016. Maybe I said I hope he didn't get in or something. Uh, yeah. But when you're in the eye, you got to not. Right. Uh, like, I never knew whether Regis was Republican or Democrat. That you got to stay so people don't know, even tell your friends and everything. But back before there was Trump, like half the people were already Republicans and half were Democrats probably back then. And uh, so you would annoy half your audience. So, yeah, so you can... Right, you don't want to lose half your audience. No. Because <laughs> they disagree with you. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I can vent to my children and to... Yeah, I want to ask you something. I see you have that movie. Yes. I bought a new bottle from Walgreens. I came home and I pressed it and none comes out. Is um, is it a defective or what are you supposed to do the first time you get it? Um, sometimes you have to turn the little nozzle around. Around? Because there's only one spot where oh, it will go all the way Oh, there's probably a dot there maybe? Maybe, or sometimes you just feel it. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then um, the first time you kind of have to pump it a few a times. A couple times, oh, uh-huh. To get the lotion to come up. <laughs> yeah, it's good I wasn't in a hurry to use that I had some other lotion. But I have the driest skin and now I realize the heat's on, so boy, it's going to be dry, dry, yep, dry. Everywhere it gets really yeah, dry. Yeah. Okay. So. Real good.